hello everyone and welcome back to tutorial town today we have uh, simple plans to keep the town going we don't want to do too much um, one of the errors that you'll notice if uh, you play this on your own is that sometimes you'll get a little overzealous and you'll just start doing more than than you're capable of, of accomplishing so what I want to do excuse me <clears throat> is make sure that uh, we're keeping up with what we need but we're not doing too much so it might not be super entertaining to watch me select uh, gathering missions and whatnot but We've got quite a few people uh, who are, are going to help us get enough food for the season. There was a really great comment uh, I received on a video, I think it was two videos ago, if you'll forgive me, uh, that said, hey, you shouldn't be gathering food within the radius of your gatherer which is correct uh, I shouldn't have manual gatherers going up into that area someone also mentioned which is something I, I I'm kinda surprised I didn't do they also mentioned hey if, if you gather anything that's not a tree <laughs> from within the radius of your forester it will help the forester be more efficient as well so I, I meant to be gathering these sorts of things outside of the radius of that uh, for a while now so please forgive me for not being more efficient with that we certainly have a lot of options now this is my favorite part about the mid game in Banished uh, with, with the red ketchup mod is there's no specific way to do things um, so what I'm doing now you'll notice I'm, I'm just getting these clumps of trees I actually learned this trick from a youtuber named Kendi64 uh, Kendi also streams this game or uh, I should say records this game and the idea is rather than doing massive clear cutting of your whole forest you're just taking smaller sections out and it's particularly effective I didn't display it here but it's particularly effective to do those little clumps within where your forester covers so like here I'm gonna have laborers because I have so many laborers there's gonna be some that live in these houses so when I mark out little chunks here then the forester will come through and replace that which makes it more of a renewable resource than than simply gathering it wherever all right so let's take stock let's see where we're at here we only have three tools and we currently have no iron so let's go ahead and make some iron we have not yet built our forge um, sorry I always forget the name of let me see if I can find what I'm looking for here foundry every time I forget every time but we've got the excess laborers now so I think I'll go ahead and place the foundry here that'll get us producing more of that this is this may also be a good time to switch to uh, another uh, to add another tailor if we wanted we could continue expanding if we want we can expand out the dock if we want there are a lot of different options at our disposal right now so we just gathered a bunch of stone here and we promptly spent that stone already so that it, what's good is they gathered it quickly because there are some extra workers what's bad is we've already 
Oh, it all went towards the, this. And now here we've run into a problem because th this is my, my failure to plan ahead. See, we're down to only two tools. We don't really have time to make sufficient iron. So what we can do is... Very quickly... We don't have that much stone either. Um... We can very quickly switch over, though, to making some stone tools just to get ourselves a handful, so to speak. And then that will hopefully hold things off while we make enough iron to get the foundry going. Uh, I've been, uh, I guess, a, a tad too casual in my approach here, and I need to, to lock in a little bit more. So, all right, so... There was a concern raised about the amount of food that we have. I would say there's no reason to be concerned about that at this point. Actually, what I should be doing, once I get the foundry built, I should probably start making some copper for sale, you know, just to, so that when we do get some animals offered us, we can, we can do that. Uh, Let's check out our housing situation here. Okay, 10 year old boy, 10 year old boy. Okay, there's a two people that can live on their own. There's two that can live on their own. There's a 18 year old woman who could move out. So, what do we need? Fuel to go up? Eh, I might just leave it. The extra workers will be fine. So, I'm gonna go ahead and extend this down a little bit. I'm not gonna build houses down here quite mm. I'll tell you what I will I think we have room for like two more houses let's go ahead and um, this is part of the sort of tutorial work that I wanted to do so I'll go ahead and show you how this works so here is a little house it's brick is the color choice so let me slow down for a second and show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, we solved our temporarily solved our tool crisis, so we'll switch this back over to iron and get that get that going while they use stone tools. It won't last. Okay, so let's let's slow down. And we are going to go way back to this menu. Okay, click on the community toolbar to red ketchup go to the housing and now this first house th now this is going to give you the first floor of the of the building here you'll remember we did these color various color houses with this tab if you click on this one you've got stone two different types of stone we've got three different types of brick this is I believe old stones and then this is lumber is primarily lumber so because we've been making some bricks we've got a few uh, quite a few saved up I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna start off with a first floor which you want to put in man, do I want to put it here yeah well let's do it let's put it here just for demonstration first floor boom that's gonna go down now second floor now if you noticed the f I'm pretty sure the roof was going sideways. If you hit your F key for variants, you can get all these different variants. And I like to make my houses go horizontal. So I do this. And then you click on the third floor. And now you could make it. This, these, these look so cool to me. This is really where the red ketchup mod like won my heart when it comes to this game. I know this is a third floor. You can look at this. It's got all these funky roof combinations. I like this kind of thing. I like the across here because then I can put another one of these in here and it'll it'll look like a city street. Um, you could do this. I, I love that with the part sticking up in the back. Uh, the white. I, I'm not as big of a fan of a, of the white style, but you can certainly do that. Look at this. I mean. It, it doesn't even look like the same game, right? Am I right? It doesn't even look like the same game. It's fantastic. It, it's such a neat idea. It, design wise, there's nothing like it. 
in 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 vanished. This is neat. You've got the little round window here. Uh, it just makes it feel more old-fashioned, more uh, interesting to me. And of course, because I am me, I'm going to come back to the to the old style. And here we go. This is what we wanted. We want to put two people in here cranking out some copper because we're going to get copper going. We've got quite a bit of copper sitting up here in storage. All right, they're all upset because they don't have enough iron ore to do what I'm asking them to do. So we don't want to switch them to copper now. Let's get our tailor under control. Oh, we got to deal with the trader. See things? We don't have a lot going on, but goats, yes. Here, this is perfect. Now you stay here. We, let's buy ourselves two goats, because two goats can make more. Uh, so we'll do... That's one goat, and... This is another goat. 1,200 buys us two goats. Now the question is, do we want more so they'll produce, reproduce faster? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say we'll be fine. So now we go over here. This is why I wanted to build this early so that it would be ready. Now we select goats. I'm going to bump this down to one. Uh, some people in the comments may disagree with that, but that's my decision to go with one. I think one person will be sufficient there. Okay, so now we need to figure out what we have in storage. We've got eight, 54 flax. Well, that answers that question. We'll go down here and make some linen. Once they make a bunch of linen, we'll switch it over to one linen, one leather. But we're okay with uh, with 41 there. But we really need to find some iron ore. There's some down here. Go ahead and gather up this iron. Now, if I was worried about my workforce, I might reprioritize things. But this is why, with this game in particular, you know, people will say what they will about how to manage your workforce on a game like Banished. But for me, I love to keep as many laborers as I can. Because then they do what I tell them to do. If you put the laborers all through all these other things, you know, I could build an apiary, and I could build more hunters, and I could expand out here and have more things going on. Which I may do very soon. But the more work you assign like that, or people are doing that full time, the less opportunity you have for them to do what you ask them to do. I like to be able to say, here, get this food. You know, we're down to 2,400. Get this food and watch. Let's actually watch. See, they're getting this food <laughs> because there's so dang many of them that can do it. Uh, that's a really, that's a really cool part of this game for me. Okay, looks like we're missing lumber. I thought we had extra lumber. Oh, maybe it went to the trader. All right, so we'll get somebody making lumber. We, we really are, are starting to run low on uh, logs. We're, we're not keeping a steady amount, so we really should build a forester. The question is, where do I want this city to go? I, that's, I, I need to do a planning stage. You might think, oh, you only have 50-ish people living in this city. Who cares? But it matters. You need to figure out your parameters. Because if I want this city to be populated here, okay, like up here, the northern part of the city, and down here, like I want to put a ton of houses in this area, I absolutely can do that. But then, you know, maybe then I put gatherers and foresters over here, and they're feeding this city. I can put a iron mine in, or something along those lines. But this is a huge map. You know, I've got this huge bit of water up here. I've got space across the water. That maybe could be a part of this settlement as well. So it would behoove me to make decisions because 
Uh, the people can walk far, but you don't want them to walk far for necessities. Like, look at all this land. This is insane. This is an insane amount of space that we could fill. So, you know, maybe we want to build a road over this way and eventually expand up that way. And maybe down here, instead of making this part of the city, maybe we want this to be another forester and gatherer and let the industrial part, in, industrial part be the southern reach of our settlement. It's a tough decision, and it's there's no right way to do it. The, the key is whatever you decide, stick to your guns. Uh, if you change your mind a thousand times, you... It, it's just... It's going to take forever uh, to, to make any progress. So, all right, let's see here. Oh, piggies. Hmm. Well, pigs, the good thing about pigs is you get meat, right? You get the pork out of them. And you get, uh, I believe they produce fertilizer. So, if we didn't just get goats who are going to produce milk for us, if we didn't just get goats I would be all over this hmm there's 600 each what could I use to get 1200 so I could get two of these piggies did we build up any copper yet? 12 hmm. that's not quite gonna cut it we're out of tools again my goodness that did not take long let's make some copper tools let's get another Oh, the foundry took an employee. Oops. Um, there's a lot to watch for. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. I apologize. I know this is a, a tutorial, and it's supposed to be teaching you to not make mistakes like that. Uh, but there's a lot to watch for. That's all I'll. That's all I'll say about that. Okay, so we should have some raw materials that we're getting here and we don't have a, a town center yet so it's I can't easily look at all the supplies we have so here's more copper but if we're using copper for the tools for now we might not want to trade that I don't think it has enough value for us to get these pigs so at the end of the day what well, I mean what we could do <clears throat> you'll pardon me uh, we could pull some of these resources from this other trading dock down there but honestly I don't think we're in dire enough need for for the pigs right now we may find ourselves in dire need for the pigs at some point but we are not right this very minute okay so hmm. I think I am inclined to make this into a bit of a town square feel here. What is, why is that going crazy? Oh, because I have gathering stuff marked there. Okay, once they get done gathering the food out of there, it'll let me make a, a road across here. I already put the one across. And then I'll make this a double road. So hopefully people will be able to get around relatively quickly. I'm also just because I'm a mediocre scared about our food situation right now I am going to put in another seafood farm now somebody corrected me on how I did this and I promptly forgot what they said I'm gonna put another seafood farm there and then we'll put okay so my trick for laying these out that's probably not the best way of doing it but you can see right here on the screen if I'm overlapping okay that's bad <laughs> so I can't build there but I want to make sure that I'm in line this way so I look on the overlap and say all right I need to go one up that doesn't make sense. Oh, it's because I probably want to go this.
this way. They're not the same size. So I, I check out my overlap here, and then I say I don't want to be overlapped like that, and then I move it up, and boom. Now we should get a rice patty, I guess it is. A rice patty there very soon. We are running very low on firewood now because we've been making lumber for a little bit. So let's do this. The, the gatherers can help us with this if there is any. Oh boy. Okay, there's some down there. And we'll see if we can find any over here. And maybe a little bit there. And we should have two people in this get them fired up. We're going to need to drop some logs too. So get some of these trees in and around here. Yeah, this is eating up some of our charcoal, which makes this number look lower than it really is. In fact, we've got 200 bricks, so as much as I like making bricks, Actually, the reason this didn't do the third floor is... Oh, it doesn't need uh, roof tiles on this one. Okay, great. It made the, all three. Look at this. Okay. So... Check out that building. I mean, tell me that's not cool. That... Well, I won't let you say it. That's a cool building. I'll say it. I just really like this. Okay, so in this case, I don't know if I'll put another one here. I may need to put another utility building there. But I personally find that kind of part of this game, of this mod, of this game, very satisfying. So, let's go ahead and gather a little more stone. Our clothing situation, we should be able to switch this over to leather and linen yeah another bummer about goats is that you just get milk out of goats you don't get a f you know any type of fur or leather like you get out of some other some other some other things all right so another thing I like to do with the dock workers not a, even though, again, you've probably heard me say this a hundred times, but the fun part of this is experimenting and, and doing your own thing. But I like doing pardon me. I, I like adding a little bit of storage onto the dock. But I thought there was a size in the middle here, not a stockpile. Open area, open area. Maybe I, maybe I do typically do the barn, but because of my location this time, it's it, it's having a harder time fitting there. Let's do. How's it? Mm, I'm not sure if that will infringe on the fishermen. I don't think it will. But since we're so close to the shore, there's a storage barn right here on, on the shore, so I'm not going to worry about it. But if if this was, let's say this storage barn was way down here somewhere, I would try to put one of those wooden dock barns right here. That way they don't have too far to go. But um, Some folks had mentioned in comments, not just on my videos, but in other places like the Banished Forum on Facebook, They've mentioned that, hey, this, uh, you know, you're you're building this wrong, but uh, I'm I'm watching people walking down here and being able to do things. They're not getting stuck, so uh, if it works, is it wrong? You know what I'm saying? Maybe I the way I do it is not the way Red Ketchup designed it. You know that's possible. Maybe the way I do it is doesn't make sense the way that other people want it to be done but it works for me and one of the reasons why I keep building out this way 
is that I don't want to affect the fisherman's radius any more than I already have. I already built a dock here and, and this dock coming out here. So I have this set up uh, on the edge. All right, so the main thing that I wanted to accomplish this, this episode was to show you how to build a three-story building, and we accomplished that. And we will come back for another episode very soon. Thank you for your time and attention. It's been a lot of fun. Bye-bye for now.